mm. playing this, so like I'm getting a bit, a bit worse at it. So I'm getting hit a lot more. It's just a little bit aggravating, I guess. It's not too bad though. Okay, with this one, you literally just follow where these guys stand. This one I do know, I figured it out last time I played through it. Which is really, really handy to figure out. Give me that heart. Yeah. And then just charge through these guys. Oh! That's never happened before. Sweet two hearts. Oh yeah, this part. Uh, I always seem to forget about this part. Maybe because I just like to block it from my memory. Get rid of all these... ...in the way things. Room two, yeah. Oh, I could trap myself in here. Good job, me. I don't know, I just always do bad in those areas. Should only take three hits, I believe, for this guy. Oh, maybe four. Yeah. Give me twenty rupees. I deserve that. <laughs> Almost there. Ah, these ice blocks just make everything so crazy to deal with. Because you're going fast and then you hit the ice block and it's just like, nope, instantly slow. It makes sense. Like, that's, that's what would happen if you were to start running and then hit a patch of ice, you'd, you'd feel it slip and fall. You wouldn't slow down, you'd fall and hurt yourself. Ah. You were late, Aganim Nim Nim. Real one. Man, my last playthrough, I was just able to... do this. But now it seems like I'm gonna have to... Like stand in a corner and spam. Jerk. Why did I turn around like a doofus? If you're actually able to do the what I was trying to do originally, you can actually hit him with multiple. Without dying, thankfully. Yeah. 
He's fat. I wish I could use my bird in here, in the dark world. Okay, well, first things first. Um, health. Is it gonna make me go back? It is. Cause it's a jerk. Oh, I freaking totally missed my bird. Still full on fairies, right? Yep. Yeah, it looks like I've hit the three hour mark officially. And I've still got a few more, like, I don't know, like ten more minutes of stuff to do. And then after the game is over, I'm gonna let the credits roll. But when I do, that's when I'm actually gonna get up, exercise, stretch myself. And, uh,. If you guys want to watch your credits, go for it. If not, I totally understand if you just want to turn the video off. Credits born, for the most part. They try. They try in the Zelda games to make the credits at least a little bit interesting by putting cool little... Like, oh look, this is what everybody's doing. So that's kind of nice. Actually, no, I'm not gonna let the credits roll. I'm just gonna win. Well, well. And a win, I'll get the Triforce. But then, no credit roll. That's what I'll do. Yeah. Bam, over this way. Go Kabim! Get my upgraded sword, upgraded arrows, and then kill Ganon. Silver arrows, which will be turned into light arrows in the next game, or I should say when the game for the 64 comes out. I don't know if you get special arrows in any of the Game Boy ones. Again, I only beat Link's Awakening. Well, that was a long time ago. Never beat the Oracles games. Okay, so now what we need is this and our sword. Those are the two important things we need for the first part of this fight. Yeah, yeah, get it. You're a bad guy. We know. I'm gonna hit it from this side because we start doing the fire. Oops. Two hearts each fire from the flame thing. Oof. Just narrowly missed that.
Oh, that's so cheap. What? Ah. Oh. No, 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 no. No more fire bat. Oh, I could usually hit him twice there, but I didn't. There you go, there's a double hit. Now he's gonna be like, let's see if you can get through my technique of darkness. Oh, I was supposed to be slash him there. I don't think I'm gonna hit him at this point. And I missed again. That was dangerous, I almost fell off the edge. Ah, uh, Cheater. Done. I didn't even need the blue potion. That's what's up. He seems like a pretty... I don't know, he seems easier to me than quite a few of the bosses in this game. If you if you do it that quickly. Welcome, Link. I am the essence of the Triforce. The Triforce will grant the wishes in the heart of the mind of the person who touches it. If a person with a good heart touches it, it will make his good wishes come true. If an evil heart dread person touches it, it grants his evil wishes. The stronger the wish, the more powerful the Triforce's expression of that wish. Ganon's wish was to conquer the world. That wish changed the Golden Land to the Dark World. Ganon was building up his power here so he could conquer the light world and make his wish come completely true. Come completely true. But now, you have totally destroyed Ganon. His dark world will vanish. The Triforce is waiting for a new owner. Its golden power is in your hands. Now, touch it with a wish in your heart. <laughs> and there we go. Link to the past. One sitting. Good stuff. Uh, until next time. Hope you guys enjoyed this, and hopefully enjoyed it enough to make me want to do more, or make you want me to do more. I do want to do one for Contra. I do love some Contra. Alright, and with that, I will see you guys later.